Howdy mates, how are we doing today? Here's a part four video. Right now I'm over at a spot called the Mound House, which is a well-known environmental and cultural history site located at Fort Myers Beach. Now, the water out here that we're facing, that is the Estero Bay, which is a well-known estuary that runs through this area. And pretty much what we're standing on right now is Estero Island. Now, you go a bit further in that direction, and that is where you will see the gulf, of course. But this particular site has a very high significance. So, what we're essentially standing on, you can see like how hilly it is a little bit almost as if it's like a golf course. Well, this is actually one of the old remainders of a mound that used to be here. This is like one of the only remnants left. Now, the mound used to stretch, you know, another mile or two to the north of where I am right now. But due to, you know, factors such as development and such, it has been rather diminished as it were but uh it's a neat site so the mound house specifically that's the structure right there that was built back in 1906 by the case family they were originally from new england and they just wanted to try something new and there were a lot less people down here at the time. And they had no running water, nothing of the sort. So typically what they had to do was they used something called a cistern, which is what you see right down here. It was used to collect rainwater. And since I'm already standing right here, this so say none of this part exists, but you only see this part. So this, this part is the original structure. But since after changing several hands, you know, of different families and even Playboy millionaires, the structure has been added on ever since. But this was essentially like a family homestead. And the cultural importance though is the fact that the Calusa Indians used to inhabit this particular area. Now the bay that you did see behind me that was the Calusa Blue Way. Now the Calusa Blue Way is recognized as one of Florida's longest paddling trails. And that's commonly where the Calusa would, you know, canoe most of the time. But what's particularly neat about this place, too, is it acts a bit like a native nursery for plants. So, you know, for instance, and not only just native plants, but also for, you know, medicinal plants as well. And among other types. But most of the plants here are native. And some of it was also used for food production. So like for instance, what we see right down here. Some of you may recognize them. These are pineapples. Now as a matter of fact, pineapples are actually a type of bromeliad. Which is essentially a type of air plant. And I recently learned that too. And for me, that was very surprising because I, I personally never knew that. But pineapples don't grow on trees. Rather, they actually grow from the ground. And as a matter of fact, here's like a little, here's a, uh, you know, a little interpretive sign, you know, basically saying, you know, it's, it was a very valuable cash crop 
and it still is to this day, especially in Pine Island, for instance. But it's been a symbol of hospitality, you know, among the Caribbean tribes. It, was, it symbolized friendship and hospitality, and it's even still used to this day. Let's just say SpongeBob would be extremely proud right now, mates. <laughs> But then, you know, you also have the coconut palm, which is right above me. You know, you even have your prickly pear cactus, which is actually in high bloom right now. And then yucca, which, by the way, is basically the same thing uh, as bayonet, Spanish bayonet. It's the same plant. But what's interesting is... The Seminole would use the roots, beat them, and it would be used as a soap. So, in a sense, that was sort of like a commercial use for the plant. But yeah. And, he sent, and just to mention, too, because I forgot, this spot is actually the highest area on Estero Island at Fort Myers Beach. We're only 13 feet above sea level. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? This is the highest point. It's like, this is Florida's miniature version of being on a mountain. And here we have like a strangler fig. This is what they look like when they really have a chance to mature, by the way. Wow. But yeah. Just a great day to be out here. And here's like a piece of the front of the building. Yeah. It's just gorgeous. But yeah. They're ex the facility, though, it's not open today, I believe, because uh, I'm actually I'm actually with a buddy of mine, Jake. He brought me here because he used to be a intern for this place about a couple of years ago. And uh, this place is only open on days except, what was it, Sunday and Monday. But all the other days, they are open to go for a tour inside the building. And not only that, but during like, you, you know, especially this time of the year, they even do kayak tours on Estero Bay. So it's really a neat spot to visit. And this is my first time here as well. So, all right, you guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and you know if you're ever in the area, this is a spot well worth visiting. And my a friend, my friend Jake, not from you know from State Farm. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. He uh, since he used to be an intern here, he knows this place really well. So it's quite neat to uh, you know network and get to know people who. I've been in this area a lot longer than I have. So, all right, you guys, take care. Enjoy your Sunday. Journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.